Okay, so let's wrap up the lesson. I'm on page 761, right there, 761. Um, and then what we're doing is we're going to use the quadratic formula to find the zeros. Okay, so um, it doesn't factor. So if it doesn't factor, one choice is the quadratic formula. So let me write it up here. Um, it is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So um, Xavier put it in. He's got his a, b, and c. He put his negative negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. Okay? So great. Xavier did it right. Um, then he simplified that. Negative 14 squared is a positive 176. Minus 76 is 120. And then he reduced it. Okay, he thought, let's just get fancy. Now, I would have used a calculator, which we will. And it reduces it, but then he makes a mistake, because then he does get 2 squares of 30, but he divides the 2 here and the 2 here, okay? So then he forgot to make that a 1, okay? and that really would have made Xavier's mistake much better, okay? But let's finish up this problem for him, okay? So let's actually do it. Let's take the 120. So I take the square root of 120, and I get a decimal. I have about 10.95. So we have about a 10.95 for the square root of 120. So we've got a 14 plus or minus about a 10.95 over 2, right? And then I'm going to get my answers. I'm going to go 14 plus 10.95 and divide that by 2. And one answer is a 12 point. Oh, we'll round it. 12.5. We'll say it's about 12.5. We'll round it. And then the other... If we went our 14 subtract, subtract 10.95, and then divide that by 2, we get an answer about 1. Point, about 1.5. Okay, so those are the zeros. And so if we graph this, okay, and I think we do that on the next page. Oh, no, that's Lauren. If we graphed it, we know our zeros are going to be at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then 1.5, it would probably be something like something like that, okay? All right, now, um, this one, we did the quadratic formula. We did the negative b plus or minus negative negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a, and we simplified it. it. says that they want it in exact form, so I had to leave it as a square root of 65. Same thing with this one. They want us to leave it as exact form, so I left it as square root of 277. Okay, they're both irrational numbers because that's what bad square roots are. Okay, now on the back side, um, Lauren's mistake was she had to make it equal to zero. Okay, you have to make it equal to zero first. So Lauren goes through and gets all the wrong answers because she didn't do it. So if she did the quadratic formula, once she made it equal to zero, she would have had a x squared minus a 7x. Bring over 3, you'd have a negative 11, right? Subtract 3. And then she'd have her negative b over 2a. And then you wind up with your negative negative 7 plus or minus square root of b squared, which is negative 7 squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a and then you wind up with the square root of 73 and so if you keep it as um, a rational um, solution to have an exact answer square root of 93 or if you use a calculator you'll wind up with the square root of 93 I don't know what that is square root of 93 square root of 93 um, about 9.64 Square root of 93 is about 9.64, and you get both answers. Okay, and then you can sketch it, right? So then your answers, it crosses at about negative 1.23, which is there, and then you've got the other answer at about 8. Point, and that's right about there. Um, the illustration of z equals 3 is you if you took Lauren's answers, Lauren's answers, you'd have it here and here, but those aren't the zeros. That's where it equals 3, okay? Um, and then finally, um, if you brought it down like we did, we know our zeros are here at about 8.32 and negative 1.31. Now, if you want the vertex, easiest way to do it is negative b over 2a, which is part of the quadratic formula, right? That's at 7 over 2, right? Um, that's part of the quadratic formula is negative b over 2a, which is about a 3.5, and there you have it, 
at about 3.5, okay? All right, that's all I have. Um, there are basically more quadratic formula problems um, and that you should be able to do, okay? All right, that's all I have. Uh, make sure you do the homework and I will see everybody tomorrow.